Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today I am going to be doing a pick a card reading as always and we're going to be doing a what is the next major change coming in my life so there is rain outside at the moment so hopefully it's not too loud but hopefully you enjoy the sound of rain so let's get started with your video so we have group number one group number two group number three group number four and group number five so let's get started and let's see what major change is coming next for you so starting off with group number one hello group number one let's see what major change is coming next in your life we have Okinite, past life patterns, tiger's eye animals, higher consciousness, aquamarine, divine life purpose, trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment. We got, wow, well, we've got aquamarine and we've got aqua aura, healthy communication in relationships, heart to heart discussions and clear assertive communication help you understand and be understood. Wow. Amethyst, revealing your true self as you allow others to know the real you, you're you'll feel loved for who you truly are. Wow, oh my God, oh my God. See the big picture, giraffe spirit, armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. Bag spirit takes the lead. I'm just gonna set these out because it's gonna take ages. I've got a lot of cards here. Eagle spirit, spirit has your back. Cinnabar, business, sacral chakra, resistance. God, we've got so many cards here, guys. Uh, Seven of pentacles, king of wands, Ace of Wands. Right, okay, I think I've set out all the cards now. So, for you guys, I feel like there's a lot of resistance to do with something, okay? So I feel like there's resistance to change, and basically there is a sense of you are on the right track, you just may be kind of resisting a new start, okay? So basically, the major life change coming for you is basically revealing your true self and being your whole honest self. I feel like for you guys you've gone through a massive powerful change and I feel like you resonate with Tiger's Eye, Okanite or Cinnabar quite strongly. I feel like for a lot of you could be Gemini's because the uh, Tiger's Eye is for Gemini. So for a lot of you I feel like you are literally the universe is showing you to take the lead and to set healthy boundaries in your life. So the fact we've got all these cards and they're all pretty much the same colour is showing me that basically there's a lot in your life right now that's basically pushing you all in the same direction and that direction is to use your solar plexus and to be really kind of eager as to how you're moving forward. So in terms of this group, in terms of your major life change, it's, as I say, revealing your true self and going into more healthier communication in relationships and communicating on a healthier level. So it's almost like you need to kind of get yourself, get your throat chakra moving, <laughs> pretty much. That's like, I feel like is the most prominent chakra for you. I feel like your solar plexus and your throat chakra is really going to be like hit in the next couple of weeks to like the next month or so, uh, next month to two months. I've still got thunder and rain now, so like there's some major stuff going on. Like I'm I'm doing a major life change reading and there's like friggin' a storm outside. So basically you guys take the lead and just know that spirit has your back because basically you do need to set healthy boundaries. You are basically going for a really strong spiritual awakening right now. And it's essentially this is the higher consciousness card. Is essentially universe is like, come on, she gotta wake up, she gotta wake up. So basically, obviously I'm not saying she just girls, but he and she, but she gotta wake up, you know, you gotta wake up and kind of like let's tell me you gotta wake up and smell the roses, which is pretty much saying for me that you have worked hard a lot and I feel like you've gone for a massive change. I feel like for you guys there could easily be the death card here. There's not, but I feel like it could easily be the death card. Um because I feel like you guys really need to step into this King of Wands role where you are properly standing your ground, okay? You're properly standing your ground and you're being this strong, confident person who is like, this is my life, I'm going to rule my own life and I'm going to not change it for anyone else. There is an opportunity coming for you and I feel like this is literally the opportunity for you is for you to step up and say actually no this is what I want and this is this is what I want and this isn't what I want so it's almost like you're choosing what is the most comfortable for you okay so basically you're not compromising anymore you're not compromising on your own stability and your own um welfare you're basically not saying yes to everything you're not saying no to everything you need this kind of balance of taking the lead of your own life and basically there's a lot of good stuff coming for you 
because the more you open yourself up the more in, in terms of revealing your authenticity and being your own true self it's all going to start rolling like the ball is going to start rolling for you and you may even meet a fire sign because of it um because they're going to recognize how much you've worked how much how hard you've worked i feel like for a lot of you your um businesses could be quite um strongly impacted by this i feel like if you're worried about starting your own business or you're worried about starting a new job and you feel like you're not going to be confident enough in it that's not going to be an issue guys you have all the tools to go forward for this and to be a confident person and to rule what you're starting pretty much um so we've got the past life patterns okay night i do sense that this is basically a past life pattern that has been brought into this life to get you to step up so i feel like a lot of you are extremely sensitive a lot i'm getting like shivers on my legs i feel like a lot of you are extremely sensitive a lot of you are um highly sensitive people so you feel all the energies of of everyone around you essentially so basically this is telling me for you to kind of ground yourself and wear a lot of hematite and a lot of um what's that crystal tourmaline basically a lot of black crystals wear them they're going to be really really good for you even black onyx for some of you um but the fact that we've got cinnabar is very very strongly related to your sacral chakra so we've got sacral solar and we've got the throat chakra here um from what i'm seeing in terms of like communication so you basically need to like i feel like for some of you i'm gonna be like obviously i'm completely honest in all my readings i'm gonna be completely honest here for some of you who are in relationships and, and, and i'm talking to a few of you who are in relationships who are compromising um this is like so cheeky i'm sorry but i need to say this for some of you who are in a relationship that you're not happy and you're compromising to be with somebody out of not being alone this is you guys stepping up and having communication. If it's not actually breaking apart from the person you, it basically, for the person I'm speaking to right now, is somebody who knows they shouldn't be in this relationship anymore. They know they should break it off, but basically they're staying because it's safe. And for a lot of you, I'm just gonna tell you now that you are so strong and you are so deserving of an amazing relationship, okay? This is only for a few of you. Um, and for a lot of you, you are going to need to really step up your communication in relationships and to be really clear, really assertive, because you need to be understood. This is your life, guys. And I feel like I'm really mothering you, <laughs> a lot of you right now. But I feel like a lot of you really are embracing your true self. I feel like a lot of you are embracing your true self. But for some of you, there's a little bit of resistance. And I feel like just this is it is completely natural because this is this is a really big change for you guys. And this is something that may make you feel just a little bit insecure or a little bit unsure, but you guys can do it, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. This was a really deep reading, but I honestly love it. I honestly love these sort of readings. They just really kind of like my throat chakras like hurting now because it's like, I don't know, I just love it. I love helping you guys out and I hope I didn't offend anyone, but that's kind of where we are right now in this major change. But this is a major change, guys, so I just wanted to be honest in this reading. So I really hope this resonated with you guys. If it did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. If it didn't resonate, just let it fly or choose another group. Um, if you also like to book a private reading with me, all the information is down below. I have my email and my Instagram there, so if you'd like to message me on there. And also, all my options for all my readings are down below, so you can choose one of those and then message me on which option you would like. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye! Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see what your major life change is that's coming for you soon. So we have Rutilated Quartz, Home, Root Chakra, be honest with yourself. By the way, I will show these cards, guys, in a minute as I go through. Be honest with yourself. Dolomite, stay strong in your faith. The positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. Wow. Time to heal. Justice, the lovers, the hierophant, and we also got pleasure. Wow. Okay, so I feel like for you guys, I'm getting family, so I feel like some of you are going to be more connected with your family and your root to do with your home. I actually forgot this home card was here. We have the Root Lady Quartz Home Root Chakra, so I do feel like a lot of you are working on your family here and you're, you need to be honest with yourself in terms of do I connect with my family? And I feel like for a lot of you, a lot of you are realising you don't connect with your family members and you're breaking apart from them and you're healing a lot of past patterns to do with um, basically 
what's the word control like control of your family and how they've controlled you um obviously this isn't for everyone but i feel like for a lot of you it's basically like you're healing your past patterns you're healing your family patterns basically and for you guys you are discovering who you are and you're breaking away from this you're breaking away from control and basically you are discovering who you really are and you're going to be really really happy because of it there's this pleasure card is absolutely gorgeous i love this and for in terms of this change the most the most important thing for you is to keep a positive mindset as much as you possibly can i'm i'm being shown you hiding away in your room or hiding away in a room so you can just be with yourself and you can really discover who you are and I feel like this is to do with a few of relationships, for you, just a few of you guys who've chosen this group. There is a relationship that's come forward and it's made you want to heal or made, made you think that you need to heal because, but it's a good thing. It's kind of brought up a lot of old stuff and you're thinking, oh my God, I thought I got rid of this like a few years ago or ages ago. I didn't think that this was relevant anymore. But actually, this person's come in to make me think, fuck, I need to like heal some stuff and shed my skin and get a new... A new life for myself so for a lot of you there is some sort of justice coming forward in terms of you recognizing who you are and loving yourself because of it because we've got the justice we've got the hierophant and we've also got the lovers right in the middle and that's underneath be honest with yourself there could also be a wedding or an engagement coming forward because for a lot of you there's basically like um yeah i feel like for a lot of you you want to get married and you may think it's not going to happen but actually for a lot of you you will you will get engaged i feel like the the major life change for some of you is you're going to get engaged um for some of you it could be a step up in a relationship we've got two like major cards here these are all about commitment they're all about stability and someone committing to you on a really strong level so i feel like for some of you you're committing to yourself and for a lot of you you are coming together with your with a partner i feel like for a lot of you you are coming together with a partner because you are oh, because you're realizing who you are you're coming together with a partner because before you didn't really have a strong sense of who you were but because you've healed it's going to be really good and you're going to have an amazing relationship wow this is really nice for some of you it's going to be like your own recognition and your own self-discovery for some of you it's going to be like a relationship um coming forward i don't think you know this person yet though um for some of you it could be a friend though Sorry, like there's so many different messages coming through. Just take it as it resonates. Um, for some of you, I feel like there's going to be an engagement. And for some of you, I feel like your feminine and masculine are actually starting to come together, like yin and yang. And it's almost like you had the yin, but was missing the yang. Or you had the yang, but you were missing the yin. And I feel like the lovers is those two people coming together, the feminine and the masculine. And for some of you, if you're not wanting a relationship or you are just working on yourself, and this is better news for you than a relationship, then this is really good. Like this is both of part, both parts of you coming together in harmony and realizing that you are a friggin' amazing human being and that you can do this, okay? So this is beautiful. That's the major life change that's coming for you guys very soon. I really hope this resonated for you guys. If it did, don't forget to comment down below. If it didn't resonate, then just let it fly or choose another group. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please feel free. The button is down below. And if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below. I have all my options listed. You can just choose an option, email me, and then email me or message me on Instagram to let me know. And we can sort that out for you guys. So thank you so much for watching group two, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hi, group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what the next major life change is coming for you. We have blood, bloodstone, detoxifying, root, heart, and sacral chakra. I'm going to show you this card as I go, by the way, guys, so don't worry. Laughter, smoky quartz, clearing negativity, release negativity from within or around you. Peridot, life lessons. You can break free from re recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lessons, to know the lesson and blessing they contain. Okay. We also have our spirit. You see clearly now. Wow. Mouth spirit tend to the small things. <clears throat> we also have the nine of swords, five of cups, the path, and nourishment. So let's have a look into these cards and I'll see what I can pick up. Okay, so for a lot of you, you are clearing out a toxic relationship or you're just clearing out a lot of negativity. This could be just in generally, this could be just generally <clears throat> clearing out an old pattern. But for some of you, I feel like you're, yeah, for life lessons, I feel like for a lot of you, you're clearing out life lessons and negativity. 
so basically you are clearing out a lot of old stuff quite a long time i can't get my words up quite a long time you felt in this energy very stuck and basically what do i do <laughs> so this is your path to nourish yourself to nourish yourself and look after yourself because you are currently in the mode of detoxifying it's really important for you to have fun times and to do things that make you laugh um, because basically it's also really important to be kind to yourself tend to the small things even if they might seem stupid like oh like having I don't know if you normally have one shower in a day having two showers in a day if you feel like you need to or putting on makeup if you like can't be bothered one day but actually you want to like treat yourself it's that sort of thing of like doing something a little bit above and beyond what you would normally do just to make yourself feel that little bit better because I feel like a lot of you, since clearing out this negativity, you're going to see so clearly about where you are. You're going to see so clearly about your path. And this this path that's coming, that you're on, and that's bringing you forward more on your path. It's going to be amazing for you guys. You're going to feel really nourished. And the major life change for you right now is the fact that you're going to be clearing out negativity. Or you're clearing out negativity right now. And basically the heart sacral and your root chakra are all being like triggered and all being open to kind of let you know that they want they need you to clear some stuff out. I feel like for a lot of you who's chosen this group, you're gonna be breaking away from relationships that you that you possibly for some of you, I'm sorry to say that some of you probably thought they were quite good, but actually the person didn't treat you very well because actually you were in you wouldn't have recognized it but actually now that you cleared out a lot of negativity from you how you feel you're recognizing that in other people and you think actually i can't be around this anymore i feel like for a lot of you you're going to be more sensitive to who you hang out with and you're going to be more sensitive to who you um engage with okay so yeah you're going to see much clearly it's going to much clearly you're going to see much clearer as to where your path is and i feel like for a lot of you who have been feeling stuck in this group in the next i know this is a long time but tell me three months could even be three weeks i'm getting the number five as well for you guys if that's significant i definitely feel like for a lot of you you're going to be kind of releasing this big pattern this big life you're going to just get a bit a big lesson that's going to teach you that fuck you now i need to like focus on myself and basically you're going to see clearly especially since you're going to be releasing a lot of negativity so thank you so much for watching guys i hope this resonated with you this is your major life change that's coming for you very soon thank you for watching if you would like to uh, uh click the uh, subscribe button down below i'd really really appreciate it if you'd like to give it a big old thumbs up if it resonated or and comment down below i'd love to hear from you if it didn't resonate then just let it fly or choose another group if you'd like a private reading with me all the information is down below i have all my readings listed in the description box and you can choose an option and then email me or instagram me instagram message me thank you for watching guys i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number four thank you so much for clicking on this video let's see what next major life change is coming for you so we have hematite mental strength root chakra we have ruby passion root and sacral chakra past loved ones root chakra oh my god we've got root chakra three times we've got family harmony bring your ideas to life four of cups high priestess so severity severity how do you say that severity i hope that's right and make time for self-care taking care of yourself is essential right now so similar to group number three <laughs> three um i feel like for a lot of you you are clearing out a lot of family patterns and you are learning how to be more passionate about who you are and learning to love yourself i feel like you are embracing this goddess energy and the funny thing is is both these images look literally the same like both women look pretty much the same they're both extremely powered um high vibrational energies so for a lot of you you are embracing your spiritual side more and you're coming into you're basically you've got more ideas about who you are and i feel like you're gaining much more mental strength and you're discovering that actually this is how i work this is how my brain works this is how i work and i'm going to embrace who i am and i'm not going to kind of stuff stuff it down sort of thing for some of you you're basically going to be kind of coming into a more stable relationship with your family 
and possibly could be expecting a child for some of you obviously if you're watching this you would have probably already been pregnant <laughs> i mean i don't know maybe i don't i don't know maybe get pregnant after this video i don't know but we've got electric eel spirit bring our ideas to life so i feel like there's going to be some sort of offer coming forward in terms of this what is this so because people are recognising that you're embracing who you are, there's going to be an offer coming forward for you. And I'm not sure if you're going to take it or not. But because you're letting yourself be more open and more vulnerable in a good way, like you're being more authentic, I feel like you're going to have much more opportunities to embrace this. And the universe is like, hmm, she's embracing herself now. She's being more authentic. Let's give her like something to be authentic about. You know what I mean? Like they're giving you opportunities to embrace who you are. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of passion coming towards you in terms of your own passion for yourself. There could be a passion project, they're telling me. Uh, so it could be to do with a new business, could be a new, um, yeah, like a new business endeavour, could be a new hobby, could be even a relationship coming forward for somebody who really appreciates you. Uh, basically, yes, you are being very much grounded and I feel like you are basically diminishing a lot of old family patterns and kind of embracing that this is who you are you're not your family you are who you are um and you are embracing who you are and basically self-care is very very important so make sure you're taking time to have some self-care whatever that means to you it can mean meditating it can mean yeah my third eye is really going for it so i think a lot of you need to meditate um drawing dancing literally anything that makes you feel happy and you're taking care of yourself and you're embracing who you are that's going to be really good. I feel like Hematite Ruby, Chai Stolite or Kyanite are going to be really good crystals for you. I always wear Hematite on my wrist because it's really, really good for like highly sensitive people, especially for me anyway. This is a Scorpio crystal apparently because it has Scorpio on it as well. So I feel like it's very good for Scorpios anyway. So if a lot of you are Scorpios, this reading is for you. I feel like some of you are called Ruby as well for some reason i don't know why i'm picking up on that but i feel like some of you are called ruby or you you have like a gemstone name so i feel like a lot of you are getting more um spiritually aware more like your intuition's getting higher i feel like like you'll recognize your intuition more and you possibly could be getting downloads in your intuition so basically the next big life change is you being more passionate about yourself you being more rooted being more grounded that's basically what I'm seeing. So thank you so much, guys. Um, I also feel like for a lot of you, you're going to get messages from your past loved ones. So just bear that in mind if that's what you want. If you don't want that, then that's fine. But I feel like they just showed me that this is you. This is you being open to more messages from the divine. I just bit my cheek out. And also, because you're being more open spiritually, your past loved ones are offering you something. And you need to basically like meditate to listen to this or basically just kind of listen in. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, the red button is down below. If you'd like to comment down below, if it resonated, and give it a big old thumbs up. If it did resonate, then just let it fly or choose another group. If you'd like a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. Ow, that hurt. Um, <laughs> and if you'd like to uh, email me or message me on Instagram to get in touch with me for a private reading, then feel free to do so. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, group four. Bye. Hello, group number five. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what major life change is coming for you. So we have, we have a lot of cards by the way, so I'm just going to lay them out and then we're going to go through them as we go. We have Calcite, Calmness, All Chakras, Labradorite, Psychic Ability, Third Eye Chakra, Creative Expression, Moonstone, Heightened Intuition, Be Extra Aware of Your Inner Knowingness as It's Trustworthy, Wasp Spirit, Sometimes Life Stings, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, the Empress, Attraction, the unexpected, the void, and realization. Okay, wow, we've got a lot of strange messages. Like, we've got like loads of random messages. They're probably all going to connect at some point. <laughs> Let's see what I'm picking up, okay? For a lot of you, they're telling me that you're feeling lost and you basically need to come back to yourself. I feel like you are learning to, it sounds really strange, you are learning to be attractive like you are learning to acknowledge that you're attractive pretty much um and a lot of people are going to be attracted to you there's something unexpected coming towards you and i feel like it's essentially i feel like it's someone realizing your worth yeah because we've got realization here 
I think someone's realizing your worth. I feel like you don't realize how amazing you are and someone's gonna come along and realize that. I feel like for a lot of you, creative expression is gonna be really important for you. Um, you could also be doing creative expression in terms of art. You could be doing like psychic artwork. You could be like drawing artwork that's psychic, um, like a psychic workshop. I feel like a lot of you are working on yourself. You're moving away from things that don't work anymore, that things aren't fun anymore. You're working, you're working on yourself and you are coming away from that. Your intuition is getting really, really high. So I feel like for a lot of you, you, you are putting yourself first and you're realizing actually, no, I'm extremely important and therefore I'm gonna work on myself. Um, for a lot of these groups, they're just literally about self-awareness and you guys evolving yourself and not about like a relationship or work or whatever it's literally about self-realization i feel like it's a lot to do with this aquarius moon but about self i feel like you're going to have an unexpected realization definitely for you guys and i definitely feel like yeah it's just you're going to realize how attractive you are you're going to realize actually i'm the, I'm the freaking queen or king obviously it doesn't matter on the gender on the gender um yeah i feel like for a lot of you you're gonna manifest something really really beautiful i cannot really see what it is which is a bit stupid because that's what this really is for but for some reason they're not showing me what it is for as long as you are expressing your creativity this can be in any way it doesn't have to be like pen and paper it can be literally like listening to music stuff stuff like that as long as you're embracing who you are and you are basically embracing you your attractiveness you're transforming as well as long as you do this the unexpected is coming i feel like you're going to get an unexpected calmness out of this basically that's what it is i feel like you're going to be much more calmer after this something i feel like stung you could be a person could be a certain situation could it be a teacher i'm seeing somebody who was like your mentor and they they hurt you so I feel like because of this, your intuition got so much more higher because it hurt so hard. You kind of went into the darkness and came out. You went into the void and you realised the things that are unexpected happen, but they're actually massive, massive blessings. And I feel like it's going to be something that has unlocked in you um, where you are more of the empress now. I feel like you used to be almost like the hermit and then you come out, you've taken off the cloak. It's almost like in um, Snow White where the witch has a cloak. And she's like, like a, pretend to be like this old creepy woman, but then she takes off her cloak and she's like this queen. I feel like that's you. <laughs> if you're a guy, just like, it doesn't really matter. But <laughs> that's what I feel like you guys are. You guys are like freaking queens and kings. Obviously, as I said, it doesn't matter on the gender. Um, but there's something unexpected coming. And I feel like, it sounds really strange, but I'm seeing like the light is shining within you. And you just need to realise that it's there because you are extremely attractive and there's something attractive coming towards you like something you're going to be like oh pretty <laughs> could it be in terms of a relationship could be in terms of a new item that you're buying uh could it be like a car or like a i'm seeing a lot of you buying phones what else monies and getting like monies so something like attractive is coming towards you like an attractive offer pretty much whatever form that comes in and i feel like for a lot of you Possibly a lot of you are going to be starting a new hobby or a new job that's very creative and you're going to really, really enjoy it. Um, just be kind to yourself and you have a very high intuition, so I said be very kind to yourself. It's very, very important. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below if it's resonated. If it didn't resonate, then just choose another group or uh, let it fly or choose another group. Um, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please feel free. The red button is down below. And if you'd like to get a private reading with me, then all the information is in the description box. I have all my options listed, so you can email me or Instagram message me if you'd like to get a private reading. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys.